introduction. <laughs> Actually, what? You guys ready? You got a beer, Judge? Two? Yeah, cool. Yeah, we got one that's all set. All right. Woo! Here we go. Cheers. Here, here. Cheers. Kapow. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, mother suckers. Welcome guys, back. Uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. We're in Sacramento, California. California. Capital of the best country. Of the state. And you see him in the cafe. Yakabass event number two, Folsom Lake, home lake of Mr. Aldi Waldi, just down yonder, 30 minutes away. So thank you, Aldi yeah. and the beautiful wife, Lindsay, for uh, hosting Thanks, us. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah. Thanks, Lindsay. Woo! Love you. You're the best for Could putting you, up with our bullshit. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Ugh. Yeah, it's that uh, poor lady. She's oh. sad. She's probably uh, in there crying right now. But we're now. back, and uh, it's Thursday night, and per tradition, as we've done not only this year, but the years in the past, we're fishing tomorrow, which is practice, but also incorporating the pre-tournament derby with the Dude, trophy. the derby's back. Derby's, derby's back. back. Derby's That's back. pretty cool. It's Officially. been gone for a while. Officially. Yeah. Aldi, do you want to explain the derby, what history is, what we're, uh, what the <laughs> I do, are? I always <laughs> <laughs> explain the historian. Yeah. Hello, historian my name Dr. is Dr. Walden, and I can tell you a story about the philosopher of trade. Well, one time I was examining the bottom of the seas of the North Connecticut coast. And there I found a Sierra Nevada Dark Horse Division trophy. I thought to myself, what the f*** is this? And so I brought it to the surface. And I thought to myself, this can only, only belong to the Dark Horse Division. And now, okay. this trophy is living with the Korean. All right, and we need to take it back. <laughs> we'll do a different history. That's a good version. <laughs> Maybe some truth to that, but I'll do the history. The no, history yeah, yeah. of the Derby. What do you guys think our first Derby Scurby was? Derby. What if we got Scurbies and we had to have a Derby to get rid of them? I don't know what a Scurby is. Scurby's like things that pirates got on because yeah, they didn't need citrus. Derby? Scurby? Scurby Derby. Scurby. You said Scurby. 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 Let's get rid of the Scurbies, guys. <laughs> That's better than Scurby. Uh, you get Scurby from a lack of vitamin C. That's what I said. They didn't need no... Special time on this? Yeah. I got your vitamin C right here. Why is it always you want us to talk, then we warm up, and then you're like, time's up, boys. No, no, no. no. We gotta get a and edit this <laughs> next Tuesday before my blanking Clear Lake video comes out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. what, what was our first I derby? I think our first derby with a trophy of some sort, I think so it was, it was Big the, Break. It was the Coors Light it one. Was. Big Break. Big Break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this was when we went to Maloney's. Here I remember when I brought no, this from the house, I was like, this is going to be Yeah, Mike made this. It's very good. I got to make a new one. Damn, I haven't had this All thing green, since pale, 20 yeah. February. Well, let's do that 19. and I'll just make a new pedestal. The history uh, that started at Big Break progressed throughout the years. It's gone through many hands. I think it's gone through everyone's hands here except for Terrence and Dutch. Santi and Dutch coach but you haven't really fished a lot of them right no yeah, that's I don't. I've, I've only been in i think this will be my third okay i'm saying it four times this will be my third one okay too. mike do you want to read the we always keep a statistics sheet on the back a signature of the winner starting off with 11 10 18 it was your boy aldi comanche again aldi at berryessa february 19. um bam april 2019 I was at berryessa and then glenn blanchard uh that was new maloney's June 19th. Bam, your boy, again, back at Sugar Barge at 7, 2019. Woo! Ooh. Mike Henson, Lake Oroville. <laughs> yeah. What? All right, uh, your boy, Obedee yeah. Williams, Lake Folsom. Oh, Obedee. 227, 2020. Folsom. We never even fished Lake Folsom in 2000. I'm trying to remember the video where we actually did that tournament and like made a video of the trophy handoff. That might be lost in the archives. I don't think it ever happened. If it doesn't happen, we need to well, take that name off there. when he won that, he, that's like right before COVID happened and he had the and trophy. And he kept it for like two years. It jumped from 2020 back to 4, yeah. 22, 2022. Mar March 20 was COVID. Uh, and then Bam took it back. Yeah. And then you Bam went, took bam, it back. Bam. Went, and bam, then bam. Greg took it at Comanche. And then somehow Greg pulled it off at Lake Oroville. Yeah. So the point is, tomorrow, tomorrow is the third derby of 2023. So All right. So uh, we have a uh, next stage. Uh, we're going to fight for this trophy tomorrow. Don't touch it. So tomorrow, uh, pre-fish practice, Folsom Lake. All of us going at it. Three best two, fish. Three longest fish. Everyone's got their board this time. Everyone's got their Mirage drive. Everyone's drives. got their board. Dude, Alden, don't bring up the Mirage drive Alden thing ever again. back's feeling better. Back's feeling better. Second tournament of the year, though, really as a group. So got the kinks out, the first one. Yeah, it's derby time. It's tournament weekend, Folsom Lake. You know, I feel like we always say this. It's, it's going to be a tough one, but it's always tough, right? Yeah. I think 
it's raining. Still, it's been raining. It's warm now. Right? It's warm now, but it doesn't matter. I just drove down the American River. Well, the it's just part, raging snow. It's melt. ripping yeah. snow melt. Dirty water. Dirty cold water. Cold water. It's gonna be chocolate not to melt. mention Folsom is an incredibly tough lake as it is. Coach, you haven't gotten a lot of words in. We need to let Coach speak. What are your words of wisdom for tomorrow? Maybe even the weekend. And I would you say know. that it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm gonna win. We all know that. But you know, I'm just here to have a good time and. Wish my competitor good luck. So that's yeah. it. We don't do that. Somebody has to finish second. So sweet, coach. Nice. Someone's got to finish last, too. Yeah, coach. that's true. Spider grubs suck, by the way. Eat it. <laughs> Honestly, he's got as good a chance as Dude, nice. spider grub lake <laughs> on this like lake. An this is yeah. a spider grub lake. Fun fact, I've never caught a limit in one day here. Not I can so have a fun, fun fact for you. Last tournament we had here. I didn't catch one of these. Mm -hmm. Me neither. I didn't. I finished 11th with four fish. That, that was when we had like 140 this, people too. That was yeah. 2019? Yeah, I think yeah. there were like nine limits. Yeah, I caught a limit and I finished 7th or 9th. And... Wow. Yeah. Oh, so maybe the non-trophy winners have a good chance. Of I got a spot. All right, so what's the goal? I'm we just going to take this goals. right now because... You are putting your uncleansed hands <laughs> on the um, trophy of champions. champions. You have no, absolutely no claim yeah, get that out of on the Don't throne. Yeah, yeah. You're f***ing the whole trophy up, don't you? Look how filthy Dude, it is. Dude, the frogs are dying. That trophy will be at my house. Just yes, covered that shit's going on about. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a beer. I keep doing that. You don't have a beer. Do you want to reshoot this video? We can. Yeah. No, no. All right, plan for the rest of the night. Might play a little dice, have a couple more beers. Leave here at 7, grab some Adalberto's. Fishing till when? 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock? I'm doing Give or three. take. Oh, here's the most important rule. Sandbagging or no? No. No, no sandbagging. No Group sandbagging. chat tomorrow. Group sandbagging. Chat. Bam's going to be the judge again. May the best man win tomorrow for the pre-tournament derby. Pull some like. Cheers, guys. I will. Alrighty. <laughs> Dutcher and I. Dude, get ready to open the door, sucker. I go get my cooler so I can get my boat beer. Hey, there's a camera. What do you know? I think you're pushing one off. Dutcher, start my truck. It's a great cooler. Fits your beers, ice, and food if you want food. These are the ones you send me. Yeah, yeah. my hooks on. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Headache. Bro. Bye, Lindsay. Thanks. Have a good day. Quiet. <coughs> Breakfast burrito, chorizo, just everything on it, please. You say you want sour cream? Yeah, if you could put that in there, that'd be great. Hello. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. Yeah, well, I was like, you guys aren't fishing, are you sure? She's got a point. What kind of burrito did you get? Bacon? What'd you get? Chorizo with sour cream. Ooh. It's a fat burrito. All these are already crushing. It's good, how are you? You guys busy today? Just a little. A lot of kayaks? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is there a meetup or something? Uh, there's a tournament tomorrow. Okay, yeah. now I know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, there, I think there's actually a hundred signed up, so tomorrow should be pretty crazy. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. We'll be here for that. Oh, lucky you guys. Yeah, All take right. care. Thanks. Put the 
boondocks. Oh, yeah. So much ramp space. Maybe. Uh, I just cleared one spot. For me, throw a log there when I'm done. Throw a log there when I'm done. Sizzler. You will not make this putt. You know that great big giant dude gets his nail in his, in his head in that movie? Yeah. That's my cousin. Really? Yep. Your, uh, Shut your up. We're gone. Jaws? No. Dude, where's your dynamic dolly? It's there. I don't even need it. Not very tough. Oh. 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 Baby, I got a golden puppy. I got my golden puppy, but it's, it's me, your golden puppy. <laughs> this thing's gonna be my day. Those words of judger. Is Bam judging? Yeah. Oh, shit. we're having a derby today. Do you remember our conversation last night? Remember our conversation that took like an hour? You said you were buying dinner tonight for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's up all the time. I'll give him mine. Double. You give me yours. I figured since you're just gonna get pictures of him dragging a <laughs> underspin, you might as well give me the good camera. <laughs> Kinda worked last time, but how come your fish wasn't on film? I don't know. I looked back and it was off right when I was netting it. I'm like, oh mother. So I left it in the water and pressed play or whatever. You All you're gonna see on Dutcher's camera is him winning, winning, because he's the best. He's not All right. All right. He's the worst around, dragging his underspin on the ground. He's the worst around. He's a spinning rod magic man. He throws his spider grub as far as he can. He's a dutcher. He needs to learn to fish something else. <laughs> <laughs> Catch anything yet, Mike? Look at that little guy. Hey, little friend. Look at that little guy. Chatterbait. I'm gonna catch him on the chatter. I bet you Greg didn't bring one. Chatterbait. Hey, boy, it's me, the chatterbait. Lot of mercy. Can you slow down? It's a five mile an hour zone. We're in by a ramp and there's debris in the water. Let's call it uh, four o'clock lines out. All right, four o'clock lines out. Four o'clock. I'm gonna follow you. Good luck, guys. Oh yeah, no sandbagging. Send your pictures in the group immediately. Three, three fish. Three fish. If you don't get your fish on camera, it's minus an inch. What? That doesn't count. Watch out, Debris. Debris. Gotcha, we'll see you back at the ramp in four hours, kid. Okay? Because <laughs> I know that's where you'll be fishing. Oh, please. Please. I'm going to my spot I went to last year. You guys stay out of it. Stay out of my spot. And then it'll get like muddy. There'll be like a mud line going down. And it's pretty good to go swimming. All right. Watch out for the Debris. I'm glad we're not launching when it's dark out. Alrighty folks, here <laughs> we go. Derby time, but again, also pre-fish time for the Yakabass event tomorrow here. As of right now, I think there's 106 people signed up, so it's a big tournament. Really just trying to figure something out. Per the reports, it's been pretty tough here. I mean, this lake is just stained, really stained. 
hardly any visibility. The bite's been tough, tons of debris in the water. So I really don't know what to expect here. Our three fish limit today may be a, a lofty goal, but it is March. The sun has finally poked its head out for the past couple of days. And I think today and tomorrow will both be really nice sunny days. Should warm up this water a little bit. Just don't know what these fish will be doing. If they'll be shallow, deep, you'd think they'd be pre-spawn, setting up to get ready to do their thing. So we'll check points, secondary points. We'll go into coves too. You never know, they could be up shallow. This is gonna be a challenging one. Can almost say that with 100% confidence. This is gonna be a tough tournament. Don't try to fish around here, get away. Okay, right back there, where I just went through, there's like a good spot, a big giant rocks and shit there. It goes from like 28 to 20 feet. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I don't think that was a bass. It wasn't a feeding fish, it was a jumping fish. But it was a fish shallow. It could be a hint. Sometimes even different species fish will relate to the same depth. Some of these birds are actually diving, which is amazing to me. I mean, how can they see bait in this water? You can see on the graph here, I don't think that's bait or fish. I think that's debris.
Oh, well, yeah, I'm all the way. I'm way up the river. So, you know, sliding. See how the uh, fellas are doing. The chat's awfully quiet. I see Dutcher submitted a underspin. Nice. I don't think we can count that, but we got Bam as our official judge. Well, tough fishing so far, but we've got reinforcements. Burrito and pale ale. I wonder if uh, Santa Claus is gonna give us a food and beer pairing today. Cheers! Folsom Lake, a chocolate mud pit. What we got here? That helps the morale right there. Here we go. We're gonna have a little, a little lunchtime snack. We got a new beer from Sierra Nevada, part of uh, what we call our FOMO series. You know, that fear of missing out. Event Hop Horizon, it's 8% alcohol, 70 IBUs, a little lower than that, but that was our target. So it reads, what we brewed, an interstellar trip to the edge of the hop flavor where the power of mosaic and eureka is inescapably delicious. So this is a classic kind of, uh, I'd, I'd call it a West Coast IPA. Ah. Very hoppy, nice assertive bitterness. Should pair really well with this uh, breakfast burrito that we have here. Look at that baby. Right here. Okay, waited a little long. My tortilla is a little stale now, but it tastes really good and it's hitting the spot. So we're about two hours and 10 minutes on the water, not a single bite, but my beer is cold. My burrito is cold. While we wait, we hydrate. Legit question. I hate to admit it, but I think it's a possibility today. Two and a half hours left. All right, well, I guess we'll have to get creative with a board picture if we can't put a fish on the board. Claus, he's the only one that's got one so far. 14 and a quarter. Oh no, Terrence. Wow, okay. Mr. Sullivan, 
on the board. There shall be no tiebreakers. How you doing? Chilling. I know. Michael's like, yeah, Ramel said he's like maybe an hour out. And I was like, no in a way. You coming over tonight? Yeah, I'll probably head home though. You fishing the tournament tomorrow? Oh, okay. Catching? No, not yet. Put that on. This is the first time out with it. How you like it? I don't know. I have. Of course you do. We'll see. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. The only thing that I'm like stoked to try it on is like dock fishing clear lake and put it on like scout mode. Where's the rest of the fellow thing? Um, I think Mike went that way. Greg, I think crossed over. Dutcher's around here somewhere too and then Terrence went towards the dam. Oh really? Yeah. It's good to see you man. Good to see you in a boat on the water. <laughs> Look at that. You can see that's clearly a bait ball. Just don't see anything chasing it. Dang it! Thought we had one. Ugh. Ah, everything seems right for this area too. I'm seeing bigger marks. I'm seeing like isolated bait balls. Why wouldn't a bass match this A rig, you know? Yeah, we should have went to bed when you went to bed. <laughs> oh, smart, smart move, bro. Good cast. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, where you at? I'm over by the dam. You guys are I know, I went down the river, then went up to the peninsula, and then down the dam. Not a bite. No, me neither. You know it's like almost 4 o'clock, right? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Are you guys still fishing? Yeah, but I'm just like over it. Like, I know it ain't gonna happen. You better get yeah. fishing. Yeah, it's great, great fishing. This lake's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm just sitting here watching Terrence put up casting clinic. <laughs> Every cast it goes like six inches and stops. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice. Who's that? Are you still trying to avoid the skunk? Oh, oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm just about to give up. Did you just get here? Did you fish at all? Yeah, I've been here since like 11. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough. Oh, I know. It's... And I had light, so... Oh, you have live scope? Can you see any? I've seen fish, but I don't think they're bass. Dude, it's so tall. Terrence is the only one that's caught fish out of us. So you got a boat set up. That's cool. Yeah, so I got the Lorance for the down imaging. And then, so right now I'm running Garmin just the live scope. So you can Whoa, kind of see. that is kind of cool, actually. Oh, you can see the fish there. Mm -hmm. What the heck? I wonder if you can see my, where, so where are you pointed? So just cast directly in front of my boat. Yeah. So let it drop. Yeah, right here. See? Oh my god. A little fall. Yeah. See? Oh dude, that's so cool. So you see how narrow it is? You just lost it, right? Because yeah. it came out here off to the right. Yeah. But as soon as you bring it in, like right directly in front. So this is where being able to turn it is, yeah. is key, right? Or they're just right there. See? Oh yeah, coming right to the boat. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. See fish moving around down there. <laughs> So there are fish in this lake. There are, but they're probably trout. So yeah. you can see like all these marks right here. So they're just kind of cruising around. Jeez, wow. That's cool. Yeah, pretty crazy. Dude, I'm so tired right now. I can go like this and just sleep. Yeah. 
Crocky, stay over there. I got this. Watch out. Got it. <laughs> That's good for those wheels to just be all up in there. <laughs> they never bend when you do that type of stuff. No. I'm really excited to not catch a fish. He was in front of us, I don't know if he out the tool. I know. Him and Mike must have pulled yeah, off from the side of the road. We must have needed some alone time. <laughs> you look started. a little sunburned, Buffy. Yeah, I'm a lot sunburned. Yeah, they're shins. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, oh my god. Why do you guys keep parking in my grass? <laughs> god. Max said it didn't work for Greg today. No, it sure did not. I don't think for anybody today. <laughs> charge batteries, charge batteries. Yeah. Millie, get over here. These dogs caught the same amount of fish we caught. We're pretty good, huh? Yeah. But Terrence won, that's all that matters. That's cool. I was happy for him, but it wasn't I wasn't. Sure. That's it, because he went to bed early, and that's why. Right. <laughs> that's true. He was able to focus on what he was doing. Huh? We need to verify this for this second. Yep. Yeah. We need time to stand. We need to verify. I don't believe there's a fish in Folsom. Is that what it was like to be on the water? I know, I'm all seasick. Seasick from Folsom sick. Damn, how many skunks has Greg got this year? Too many. Hey, more skunks than I've ever had before. Here. Got, and it's only March. Skunk. I mean, a lot, that little bass plastic boat they just did. Where are you going to sit, Greg? Oh, no, no, no. Mike's lap? Mm -hmm. Come over here, pumpkin. Damn, a 16 quarter. Did you guys, you know you're going to get DQ taking your pictures like that. It's got to be above vertical on the bump board. You can't you take it from about? outside. Dude, I got Damn. burnt. Bad today. <laughs> See how hot that's what you that get is. for wearing Crocs. That's how hot that is. I'm 30 and three quarters. Ah. All right, that's it, guys. Um, holy smokes, that was uh, brutal. Probably the worst pre-fish slash derby I've ever had. So I'll just say it. I'll start us off. Zero fish, probably zero bites. Uh, good burrito, good beers. Those are the only positive <laughs> things of the day. And somewhat nice weather, which we'll take that. Aldi, how'd you do? Same as everyone else. <laughs> It was bad, right? It was bad. But being the kind of local, the, the native guy here, Folsom, it can be really tough too. Even if it was ideal conditions. Yeah, usually. Whatever it takes to butter up your heart, you just got heart pain. I did. You're getting crushed today. Folsom can be honestly great. Mm -hmm. It can be really, really good. It's just not right now. So no bites for you? No bites. Okay. Michael? One? One stick fish. Stick fish. It was a stick, oh, I but I fought the fish. hell out of that fish. Was, I had to fight it. I, it was all I got. I gave it everything I could. Dude, I was definitely set in the hook on nothing. After Me too. Moment. I was just like, I want to feel it. Just like, maybe there will be a magical fish if I just yeah. set the hook. Coach, how'd you do? Uh, zero bites? So Seems just be the business as usual for you. <laughs> the theme of the day, zero bites. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're smart fish in release areas. Yeah, you gotta go by the You gotta right? catch fish. Somebody has to catch a fish to release it. That's a good point. That's um, And last, two, but certainly not least. Terrence, last man. Terrence, how'd you do? I caught two. I caught Woo! two. Sam three bites um lost one uh when i was fishing with mike uh kind of lost fish. it at the boat yeah, was my uh boat. didn't get a good hook set on it but the other two was right whenever the wind started kicking up i could see them on the graph and i just i think i just got lucky and i was literally just dead sticking it drifting with the wind wait what were you doing i was drifting with the wind that's trolling, trolling. Oh, no, you trolling. can get pushed by the wind. That is trolling. No, it's not. not trolling. Right? Are you with it? <laughs> trolling. No. Well, okay. Dude, I saw a guy trolling. All right. Me. Even if you got rid of no, the no. one trolling fish, I still, <laughs> got, I still got another one. Two on the board. Two on the board. Only one to catch fish. Only one to get a bite. Only Santa Claus. Only one to get a bite. Terrence Santa. Hillary. Santa. Mr. Champion. Santa. Yeah. 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 
I'd got, way rather lose to you, Terrence, and Dutcher. Now you got the trophy, and you're the only one that caught fish. I mean, this was a pre-fish day for the tournament tomorrow, and I think as a, I don't think I'm even showing up tomorrow. We got a tournament tomorrow with like 110 Brutal. people fishing Brutal. Wilson. When there's a tough tournament or a tough practice, we always say, oh, it'll just take like five and you'll have a chance. And it never really happens, but I feel like this is legitimately a tournament where if you catch five fish, you might win. Like, I can't yeah. see yeah. how... I four fished from four 60 feet to five feet all day. Yeah, and didn't even. I didn't really we even saw, grab saw many few. fish. We I don't know. I grabbed some, but I don't think they're same best. conditions tomorrow too, right? Come like sunny. Uh, no, actually, rain. when I looked earlier, it's cloudy. It's cloudy Ooh. and maybe raining. That okay. doesn't matter. Good. Oh, I didn't see the rain. But I just saw cloudy. All right, so predictions for tomorrow: Yakabass, stop number two, Folsom Lake, best five, longest five fish, field of like 115 or whatever it is. It's gonna be probably more by tomorrow morning. All the what do you think? Five best longest fish to win, and what will it take to get top ten? To win. To win. 86. What? No way. I think 86. And top 10. I, I think that top 10, you don't even need a full limit. Michael? I think to win is going to be 79 and a half inches. And top 10, I think you can have a four fish bag. Okay. 78 and a quarter to win. And Will that probably, be you? It, it could be. It could be. <laughs> um, and probably 60 inches might get 10th place. Yeah, that's I'm, horrible. I'm, I'm with you guys. That's think... like Yakabass three fish limit old school five years yeah. ago. I'm going to say 80, 81 to win. And yeah, we'll just say four fish get 10th place. Coach? Yeah, 75, 75 <laughs> to win. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 15 Why are your that's legs a, that's blushing? That's 15 inches. Guys, <laughs> doing a successful right. derby again. Well, not really successful, but it was fun. Congratulations. For one guy. Congrats to Santa. 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 boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>